Today we will be solving equations by dividing. So let's take a look at our directions. Ask us to solve each equation, then check our answers. And here's a type of problem that we've got. 49 equals 7m. Well, when 7 and m are right next to each other, this means to multiply. We're going to multiply 7 by m, and we're going to, it's going to end up equaling 49. So the way we solve an equation is to do an opposite operation. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to divide by 7. So I use this as my division sign. So it's a fraction bar, but it means to divide. And so that dividing by 7 undoes the multiplication. And so those 7s end up canceling out. But to keep this equation in balance, I need to do the same operation on the other side. So I'm going to divide by 7. And so when I go ahead and do that work, I'm left with m on the right-hand side. And on the left-hand side, 49 divided by 7 makes 7. So there's our answer. Now we can check our answer by substituting that 7 back in for m. So let's see if it does work out. 49 equals 7 times by 7. Well, 7 times by 7 is 49. So when the two numbers equal, then we yes, we know we did it correctly. So 7 is the value of m. Next one, done the same way. See, 20 is right next to r, so that means we're multiplying. So we're going we're gonna to undo that multiplication by dividing by 20 on both sides. So one of the rules with division is if they both have zeros at the end, we can cross those zeros out. And that's like reducing the fraction by 10. We're taking out a common factor of 10 from each of those terms, and we're left with 2 into 8. Well, 2 goes into 8 four times, so 4 should be our answer. Let's check, though. 20 times by 4 equals 80. Well, 2 times 4 does make 8 to carry down the 0, and yes, we do get 80. So that is the correct answer. Those check out, so we know that R is 4. The next problem here, well, we have to divide by 8 because what's happening here is 8 is being multiplied by x. So dividing will undo that multiplication. So 64 divided by 8 is 8. So x equals 8. Let's check our answer here. 64 equals 8 times by 8. Well, 8 times 8 by 8 is 64. So yes, the two numbers do agree. So we know we did the problem correctly. Well, another one like that. 4 is being multiplied by the p. So we're undoing that multiplication by dividing. So Divide by 4 on both sides. 36 divided by 4 does make 9. And so P does equal 9. So let's check our answer here. So we go 36 equals 4 times by 9. Well, 4 times by 9 is 36. And so those two numbers do agree. So yes, P is 9. Well, one more problem like this. Undoing the multiplication is dividing by 7. Well, 7 goes into 14 two times evenly. 7 goes into 7 one time, so 21 should be our answer. But let's check that out. 147 equals 7 times by 21. 7 times by 1 is 7. 7 times by 2 is 14, so 147 is what we get there. They check out, so we know we did that right. We've got some word problems here that we're going to try to write an equation and then solve from there. So it talks about how a hot air balloon flew at 10 miles per hour. So whenever you see the words per hour, and it flies in just, it just flies the 10 miles in one hour, but after two hours, you have to double this. So after two hours, two times 10 would be 20 miles it flew. After three hours, it would be 30 miles. Well, it says using the variable h, write and solve a multiplication equation to find how many hours. Okay, right there, there's the question. So that tells us what h is supposed to be. h equals the number of hours. Number of hours, okay, the balloon traveled to cover a distance of 70 miles. So 10 miles per hour. So if we multiply by the number of hours, that'll give us the distance. In this case, 70 miles. That's where I got the 70 from. So to solve this, all I'm going to do is an opposite operation. I'm going to divide by 10 on both sides. And just as we had done over here, where I crossed off these zeros, you can do that as well over here. You can take out a 10 from each of them. You can divide by 10, and that gives us h at 7. 
so seven hours is our answer. After seven hours, the balloon will be 70 miles away. Passenger helicopter can travel 300 miles in the same time it takes a hot air balloon to travel 20 miles. So let's write that down. A helicopter, the helicopter goes 300 miles and the balloon the balloon only goes 20 miles in the same time. Okay, so we're going to use a variable s to write and solve the multiplication equation to find out how many times faster the helicopter travels than the hot air balloon. All right, so s represents the number of times faster the helicopter is going to be going. So let's write the circle this part right here again. This is important. This is what the variable s is going to represent. So that's important. So well, if we do 20 is the number of miles that the hot air balloon went, times by the number of times faster, s, that will equal the helicopter's distance. And so all we have to do to solve that is divide. So we're going to divide by 20. And there we can cancel out some zeros again. 2 goes into 30 15 times. So S equals 15 times faster. Well, there are three feet in a yard. All right, that's important. So we'll underline that part. John used 27 feet of wire in his sculpture. Write a multiplication equation using the variable Y. So John used 27 feet of wire in his sculpture. We're supposed to use a, an equation with Y representing the number of yards of wire John used. So y, let's circle this part, y equals the many of the how many yards he used. Well there's three feet in one yard times by the number of yards he used equals the number of feet he ended up using altogether, 27 feet of wire. And so all we have to do is divide by three. And so there we have it. Y is 9. So 9 yards of wire he ended up using. Well, here it says Cheryl gets paid $8 per hour at her job at the record store. And then, so again, whenever you see the word per hour, that tells us that we're going to end up having to multiply 8 by the number of hours. Whenever you see that per hour, if we want to just change it to dollars, that's what we have to do. See, after one hour, she only gets paid $8. 2 hours, 16. 3 hours, 24. 4 hours, $32 she gets paid. Well, she made a total of $96 last week. We're going to find out how many hours did she work. So there's what H is right here. How many hours did she work last week? So this is what H represents. So that's important. So let's go ahead and write our equation. 8 times the number of hours equals the total amount made, $96. And so from that point, all I'm going to do is divide by 8 on both sides, and we'll have our answer. H equals 12. So 12 hours is the number of hours that Cheryl ended up working. Well, those are similar problems to tonight's homework. Good luck.